what is up everybody welcome back to the channel this right here you guys the emo the most important email that you could ever send okay that's the title of the damn video the most important email that you can ever send is the first email and it's what we call your welcome email so it doesn't matter what kind of business you're building if you're driving traffic to a landing page to capture a lead right to get people over here to let's just say i have a i have a few of them but let's just say fb ads for beginners again it doesn't matter what your business is if you're a real estate agent and you're offering a buyer guide or some type of seller guide or if you're a digital agency and you're looking to get clients you got to bring in with some kind of page right stop paying them to your overwhelming crowded website you got to start bringing people to one single page right this is your landing page. So whatever you're in, people come over here, they click on the button, they enter their name and email. When I click on that blue button, that first impression, that very, well, I, well should tell you the truth, the first impression is the landing page, right? That's, that's the first part. But the first intro, the first introduction, your first freaking, what, what word can I use? Your first freaking, um, um, um interaction with that lead is the very first email that is the most important email man because the chances are if that first email doesn't appeal to that client or to that prospect right if that first that's why i'm saying when you give out something for free whether it's a free training whether it's a free download whatever when you give out something for free it trains that prospect to go look at the email. That's why some people they'll bring they'll bring traffic to a web page, to a landing page. They'll have that person opt in. Let's say let's say they're giving out a free download, and then right when they click on um um right when that person enters their information, they they click on the blue button. They go to the thank you page, and on the thank you page is a link to download whatever the hell they opted in for. Some people do it that way, but I do it through email because I want to already train them. I want to program them. I want to get them already used to checking for my email. So whatever you're given, a free video, a free download, a free PDF, some type of free buyer guide, whatever, you want to send it to the email because that again, trains them to start looking out for your email. But what I'm saying is that when you do it that way, it gets the prospect to go check the email right away. And that's what I'm saying is the most important. The very first email is the most important. So all I'm doing with, 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 this, with this friend of mine here, my, shout out to my buddy Kelly, but all I'm going to show you is how, how, how you set it up in Kartra, like how that first welcome email goes out. It can go out through the form or it can go out through your My Communications, which is your sequence, right? So when someone opts into the page, they're automatically put on a specific list and, 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 and with that list, there should be an email sequence tied to it, right? An email autoresponder, responder. that's what's going to automatically go out. Those handful of emails that are, that are going to go out later, right? Now, I can either set up that first email to go out through the form, or I can set up that first email to go out through the My Communications through the sequence. Now, in this case, I'm going to show you how to send it out through the form. So when they come, this form right here, in fact, let me just open it up. It's this one right here. So this form is what's on any landing page. So when you look at a page, when you look at a page, you have the page, and then when they click on the button, that's the form. So right here, I can ask for name, I can ask for last name, I can ask for email, I can ask for phone number, I can ask for freaking date of birth, I can ask for all kinds of shit. But when you're getting people to opt in and it's cold traffic, they don't necessarily know you, Asking for the name and email is all you want to do. Don't try to ask for a phone number. I know, I know so many business owners that want to capture leads, right? That's why they're running Facebook ads. And they just want to ask for people's phone number right away, especially real estate agents. They want people's phone number right away. It's like, dude, when do you ever click on anything online and give up your phone number right away? Never. Like, I don't ever give up my phone number just on some random ass ad that I've seen, right? I'll give up my name and email if it's interesting. I'll give up name and email just to kind of dig deeper, but that's about it. So right here, you have to put your consumer hat on too, man. Your prospects, people you're, you're promoting your business to, we're just like them. They're just like us. We're just normal consumers, man. So dumb it down, right? Name and email is all you want. But my point is, is that this is the form. 
And that form is right here. It's all in my form. So in here, you can create new forms and then you can come over here and hit change. And I can, this is where I can add new forms. So look, I can go new field and I can go middle name, last name. I can ask for company. I can ask for phone number. I can ask for address, right? I can ask for website. I can ask for social media handles, right? So I can ask for it, whatever I want really, but, or I can create a custom field and I can ask for whatever I want. But in this case, I'm telling you, name and email is all you need. That's all you need to need to know right now. And then once I get that person on my email list, then again, if you have an email sequence, which you should have set up, that's your email autoresponder. You should have a handful of emails that are going out automatically, right? That's where you build the trust. That's where you build the like. That's where you build the rapport. That's how you nurture your list. You're emailing those people value, not just pitch, pitch, pitch. Hey, call me, man. I want to sell you a house. No, dude, it's not just pitching, right? It's freaking value. Start educating your list. Start teaching them stuff that they may not know. And then occasionally some type of call to action. And so if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're in the client services business, which is a real estate agent, an agency, a freelancer, you're out, you're actually looking for clients as you get these, as you get this list going, it's in the email autoresponder where you want to sprinkle a few emails with call to actions to get them to click on your calendar to schedule an appointment. Because you're either, you're, if you're watching my video right now, man, you're either servicing people through client services, right? You need someone on the phone. You need to grab someone's credit card. You need an appointment. You need a scheduled phone call, right? Or some of you guys might be affiliate marketers or just, or, or maybe e-commerce, you guys are selling stuff online, right? So if you're, if you're, no matter what you're doing in the emails is when you'll put a link to buy your product or in the emails, that's where you'll put a link for your calendar to get people to schedule an appointment. So it's the sequence, man, where you're going to build the trust. That's where you can get people to schedule an appointment. That's where you can get people to give up their phone number. You know what I mean? Like it's in the email sequence, but you got to be, give, you got to be delivering value. And I truly believe you need to be doing it on video, man. 2020. Again, I talked shit about this in my previous videos. The only reason why you guys are here is because you see my ugly mug on video. It's the only reason, man. Again, if I was writing this in some random ass blog, none of you guys would be reading it. Right? So video is, you, when you're building a business nowadays, you got to be putting yourself out there like this. And I know some of you want to hide behind the camera. I get it. You know what I mean? Some of you guys may not even necessarily need to be on, on video, but if you're dealing with people and I'm talking about clients, not customers. And the difference is, is that a customer is someone that's maybe buying a physical product, maybe off of your website. That's a customer. But a client is someone that you're servicing, like a real estate agent, they have clients. A doctor has clients, patients, but clients. A dentist, clients. A chiropractor, clients, right? So um, if, you're, if you're doing any, any of that kind of sort, man, you're, you're driving traffic to the, to, the, to the webpage and what I would be doing, and it's what I do. So if you're on any of my other list, um, mainly when it pertains to my social media agency, the emails that I send out to those people, I'm on video. I'm on video. And I, and I, and I teach you guys how I, how I do that in, in my previous videos here, man. How I send out an email, but, but how I tie it to a page, right? So when they, click, when they open up the email and they click the link, it takes them to a Kartra page where it's me on video. And I simply put you know, my YouTube video in there, for example. But I'm only doing that to build the like and trust factor. People start to see your video. They start to feel like they know you. They start to feel like they like you. They start to feel like they trust you because it's video. And so the email sequence, man, is where you're gonna nurture the list and then get people to do what you need them to do. Don't ask for too much upfront when they're just coming to your page and they don't even know you yet, right? So that's what we're gonna do. Just ask for first name and in and, and email. And then we could choose to be a single opt-in or a double opt-in on a couple of my list um, are double opt-ins. And when you go double opt-in, your, um, your opt-in rate will actually decrease because sometimes people are fake, man. And sometimes people opt into stuff and they're really not sure. So 
you don't want to build that kind of list. You want to build a list of people that actually confirm. They opted in, the system emailed them a confirmation, which is a double opt-in, and then the system, Kartra, for example, or any email autoresponder is like this. It's all in the settings. Under double opt-in, it would, it would be set up in a way where that person is emailed. The moment they opt in, they're emailed, but they're emailed a confirmation first. Like, and, and, and they're required to click to confirm, to, to, to double, you know, double to, to, just, to just make sure that you really want to be on that person's list. Right. And so when you get a double opt in, when you do double, double opt in, that list is freaking is, is, is solid. Like that's a solid ass list because that person double, double confirmed and that person really wants to be hearing from you versus single opt in. In my opinion, a lot of people go with single opt in. And if you, and again, I have a ton of pages where I got single opt in as well, but at the same time, you end up getting a ton of more people for sure but also you get a handful of people that are just not going to engage. They're, they're, and, 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 yeah, they're just not going to engage. And, and, and again, another reason why double opt-in works so well is because if it's set up that way, they go to the page, they opt in, the system sends them a confirmation. Hey, just wanted to double check that you, that you really want to be on this list. That right there automatically, automatically programs them and trains them to check for my emails. So that's why double opt-in works really well as well because you build a list of solid people. And I'd rather have a list of 200 solid ass leads than a list of 2,000 that are wishy-washy, right? Um, but at the same time, you could do what you want. In this case, I'm gonna do single opt-in. Um, and then the success page, once they come to the page and they enter their name and email and they click on the blue button, that's when they go to a success page. That's what Karcher calls a success page, which is your thank you page. So we're taking them to this thank you page right here. You can hit the drop down Karcher pages, or you could take them to an external uh, URL. But the site, the Karcher page, will save that, save a next. And this is what I'm talking about, you guys. This right here is the most important email. Um, if it's not the double opt in, and if they're not getting that type of confirmation email, then it's this one. This welcome message. This is the very first, your first impression. This is their first impression of you, right? This welcome email. So all I'm setting up right here is when someone opts into his page, I want to make sure that this email is going out. So it's coming from this email right here. This and make sure that this is, you know, an actual email, not a Gmail or a Yahoo. It needs to be your actual, you know, email. So whatever .com you have set up, set up the email as well. Um, hit save. And then here is the message. And this is what I wanted to show you. So I have what the client wants. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to simply copy and bring it over. This is the first email. So in this case, with my buddy Kelly, He's driving traffic to a landing page and giving out a free download, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna simply copy this and all I'm gonna do is bring it over. And I'm gonna actually add the first name as well. So I'm gonna put, hello, first name. And that will be pre, that will be pre-populated with their actual name that they use to opt in. Okay, so hello, John. Thank you for requesting our free guide. Inside you'll learn, let's just um, bold this real quick. Inside you'll learn seven steps to manage your, your rental property that, that keep, this doesn't even make sense. Seven steps to manage your rental property that keeps your home rented and money flowing. Okay, so let's let's space this. Okay, so seven steps, and let's put let's put the number one there. Actually, seven steps to manage your rental property that keeps your home rented and money flowing. How to protect how to protect your home from illegal tenants while your property is vacant. Know your rights and protect yourself. 
three things you need to know about state laws to keep your home out of litigation and courts. Hot topic. Use this to make sure your biggest investment is protected. Click the button below to grab a copy of the guide now. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do now. So he has a button right here. If I click that button, it takes me out to the actual download. Okay, and this download is hosted on Kartra. So here is the download right here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the link. This one here at the very, very top. Okay. Yeah, this is it. This is a download, you guys. I'm telling you, man. This is a download. And there's a link. This right here, you can easily, easily, easily have someone on Fiverr do this right here for a few bucks. So there's a link in the description. There's a discount code there. Click on the link. It'll give you some kind of discount discount as you check out on Fiverr. Um, but this is a download, man. This right here is freaking amazing. This is what it takes to capture leads. Give something of value for free. And it's this right here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this entire link at the top, okay? And then I'm going to, let's go back to the email. And then I'll put the PS, but let me put that button. Click here to download. So here's how I'm going to do it inside of Kartra. So let's add, let's add like a, like a like an asterisk or something to this um okay so let's bold that okay so here's what i'm gonna do now so now i'm gonna go to advanced I'm gonna to go to design templates. Actually, you know what? Let's go back to, I'm gonna to have to take it out of. So here's the deal. It was in text, right? I had it in basic. So right here, I have it in basic. That's when you can write the, um, hi, it's Kelly Archer. Okay, so let's do, okay, so hi, it's Kelly Archer. Okay, so let's add that part too real quick. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put their first name right in between. So I'm going to go, hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. It's Kelly Archer. Okay. Thank you for requesting our free guide. Okay. So that's that. Okay. So now because I have it in text or cause I have it in basic, that's for basic text. But what I want to do is I want to add a button. So that's when I have to go advanced. So I'm going to have to take it out of this basic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, I'm going to come down to, I'm going to click on advanced and then I'm going to come down to design templates and I'm going to simply um, I can go my templates and if he had anything saved, yeah, what I can do is I can just add this one. Perfect. So it's right here. In fact, it's right here. So shit, let me just drop it right here. Damn, there goes the whole damn thing right there. Perfect. So I didn't know, I didn't even have to freaking write it out. Perfect. Actually, yeah, they, he had bullet points. Perfect. Okay. So that's that right there. Let's go with, um, let's add. So then from here, now that I'm in this, um, this, um, um, advanced part, I can also go back to dynamic variables and I can grab the first name. I always use their first name in the emails. So I'll go, hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. It's Kelly Archer. Okay, perfect. So I'll go, I'll go, hi, Jack, it's Kelly Archer. Thank you for requesting our free guide. Inside you'll learn. Perfect. Okay, so there's that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send test email. So let's send test, send a test. So the test was sent. Let's go to that email.
and let's see that email. So it's right here at the top. You have a new credit report. Okay, perfect. So then right here, thank you for requesting our free guide. Inside you'll learn, so that's the email. Your cash flow guide is ready. They come over here, they click on the orange button. And boom, there goes their free 30 page download. I'm telling you, man, step up your game. When, when Kelly first showed me this, he had like freaking two pages. I'm like, dude, no one wants to opt in. No one's gonna give you their name and email. No one's gonna care about your two damn pages. Turn that shit into a freaking value jam packed brochure packet, right? And he straight went back to the drawing board and turned the damn thing into 30 pages. That right there is value, you guys, that's value. So now he's gonna be able to take his entire online marketing campaign and build everything around the free download. This is what we use as our bait. This is what we use at the top of the funnel to get people into the funnel, right? You gotta give, 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 give. And, and, and again, in a ton of my videos, I talk about make it valuable. Make it valuable, make it some type of digital copy where people can easily opt in and download it right away. So that's that. So that email was sent, that came out successfully. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over here, I'm gonna hit save, and that is our welcome message. And then I hit save and next, and then this person is gonna be automatically subscribed to in fact, you know what? I am going to change this list and I'm going to add them to a different list. Actually, you know what? That's the list. That, that list is fine. How to, yeah, that's, that list is fine. So I'm going to hit save and then subscribe to a sequence. sequence. Um, I can do it right here as well, but I'll do it from, yeah, let me do it here. So I'm going to subscribe them to an autoresponder. So I'm going to subscribe them to the sequence, which is this one, I think it's actually, it's this one. Okay, so step, and we're gonna go with step one. So now they're gonna start on step one of the email sequence. When they opt in, they're gonna get the welcome message, right? That's the welcome email, that's this one right here. That is the very first email. That right there is the most important email, right there, it's the first one, all right? So, um, so once they get that one, we're gonna set it up where the sequence goes out a day later. So over the next few days, they're gonna be a part of the sequence. And that's what I'm trying to tell you is that over the next few days, that person needs to keep hearing from you. You have to nurture that list, okay? And I'm just saying, as I said earlier, as these emails go out, put some of your videos out on it. Those emails need to be tied to a video, okay? And that's what you see. If you're on any of my, uh, any of my lists, like, well, actually, to tell you the truth, a lot of you guys that are on certain lists of mine, there's, I don't think there's many videos on there, but when it comes to my social media clients, those, those, those emails that go out, those are all video-based emails. So again, it just, it just allows me to stand out even more, which is, which is powerful. So that right there is the sequence. And then advanced automations, you don't need to worry about that just yet. But for those of you that are advanced, Advanced automations is it, let's say for example, someone clicks that you send them an email, an email goes out, they click on something. I can set it up through automatic, through automations where if they click, subscribe them to a different list. Or I can set it up in automations if they don't click, don't send out the next email. Or I could set it up in automations if they don't even open the damn email, don't send them the next one. Like so in advanced automations, you can do a lot. Um, but I'll just keep it simple, save an X and that's it. So that is the welcome email. That right there is the most important email you can ever send out. It's the first one. So make it good, make it good. Put some good information in it. Make that person's, you know, get them fired up that you're, that you're excited. Show off your excitement that you're, that you're thankful for them to even be on the damn list, right? And if you're not gonna do that in video, do it in text. Hey John, I'm super fired up. Thank you so much for opting in and getting more information regarding what we got going on. Hey, let me just kind of tell you a little bit about what we got you know, happening and, um, and see if we could possibly make a match in the future. Like some type of, you guys know your business, right? You know how you could tailor it to your, to your customer. You know how you could tailor it to, to your, to your client. But at the same time, what I want you to also know is the fact that they're a normal person, just like you, you're a normal person, just like them. So don't pitch crazy shit on that first one. Don't throw up on them, right? Don't overwhelm them with all kinds of crap. Just put yourself in the consumer's shoes. What would be some good information for you to receive right away? You know, think, 
think as if you were the, 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 the consumer or the potential client or the, or the prospect in this case, right? The lead. And, and, and just put your, what I always tell my clients, I'm like, dude, because a lot of times people have a hard time with these emails. I'm like, dude, you got to keep it simple. Like, don't put out some email where people are going to open it and think that you're some corporate conglomerate. Like you're some freaking ex high executive because you're talking all fancy and you got all this shit, you know, it's like, no dude, dumb it down. Like that's what you want to do. Relate to the consumer, relate to the audience. And that's why you see me on these damn videos where it's like, dude, I'm just freaking scrubbing it. I don't even give a shit because I want you guys to see the real me. I want to be authentic as possible. That's why none of these damn videos are even edited. I'm no, I'm no professional. So it's like, if I can attract people that are just like me, that's what you guys want to do. And that's why I tell real estate agents all the time. I'm like, dude, stop trying to look like you're a freaking a celebrity. Stop trying to look like you're a you, you're worth a million bucks. Like I see real estate agents all the time trying to look their best. It's like, dude, dumb it down. Like your audience, they're not, unless they are, unless you're dealing with high end multi-million dollar investors or buyers, then you got to obviously look the part. But that's my point. You're looking like them. That's why you're, 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 you're driving that Benz. That's why you're carrying that Louis Vuitton bag. That's why you got on them red bottoms because you're relating to the client because that client is a millionaire, right? But if you're not dealing with clients that are at that status, why are you trying to look all that? Like, why? Like, why are you in that expensive ass, you know, car or wearing that expensive jewelry or you got that ex those expensive clothes on? For what? When you're dealing with clients that are buying a $300,000 house, right? Like, it makes no sense. And, and that's just what I see all over social media. People trying to look their best when it's like, dude, in reality, at the end of the day, that turns people off because they feel like they can't relate to you. That's why I truly believe that a lot of you guys are subscribing to my channel because you, you see all this and you're like, shit, if that dumbass can do it, I could do it, right? Because you guys can relate to me, right? Because I'm dumbing it down. And so in your emails, dumb it down. Be the real you. Talk like you talk. Write like you talk. And, and again, if you're, if you're, if you're you know, on that higher end of intellect um, and you're just that higher, you know, um, at that higher status as far as knowledge and education and that's and that's really how you talk with big words okay cool that's how you talk my point is keep it real keep it real these emails that are going out keep it real hey what up john david just following up wanted to say what up i'm telling you man if you're on any of my list you're hearing me write these emails you're reading these emails that i wrote that sound just like the way i talk Right. And, and again, man, when you can do that, you don't need millions of people. I tell this to people all the time. I'm like, dude, especially real estate agents. I'm like, dude, out of all this shit that I'm talking and all this knowledge that I'm giving you, all this game I'm giving you, if all this shit, Facebook ads, social media marketing, posting your links, all this crap, if all of this brought you one extra deal a month, not only would it change your life, but you'd be way profitable. Like the ROI on this would absolutely be ridiculous. You spend 500 a month on Facebook ads, you close one deal and you make five grand. How does that not make math mathematical sense, right? So at the end of the day, you don't even need a lot of leads. You don't even need a lot of people. You don't even need everyone liking you at all. When you can be yourself, you attract people like attracts like. So you start attracting people that are like you and you start attracting your ideal client. So the emails are the same, man. Make it sound like you. Don't make it sound like you're freaking some crazy person. No, dude, like crazy as far as, you know, out of the box, someone that's not you. Make it sound like you. Make it you. And, 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 and I'm telling you, man, when you can really relate to that end user, that person is going to feel like they know you, like they like you, and like they trust you because you're just like them, right? They're just like you. So have fun with it, man. That first email is the most important email. That's how I set it up in the form through the welcome email. Um, and then after that, that person's just going to get dripped on through the email sequence, and that's where more value will be given um, in the future. All right, guys. So hopefully that helped, man. 
Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, man. Smash the bell for notifications. I'm dropping content on social media marketing, affiliate marketing, and making money online, which is shit that I'm doing every single day. I'm in the trenches building a business. This is what I do. And all I'm doing is just simply documenting little random things um, that I got going on. So subscribe, comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from. Um, and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on online. All right, you guys, I'll see you on the next video. Over and out.